Hello, students. We are solving the IV Math A HL past paper questions, and we are currently solving the IV Math A HL May 2021 paper one time zone one past paper. So we are solving one question every day. Today we will be solving question number eight. We have already solved the first seven questions. You will be getting the solutions to the all the first seven questions in the playlist. The link to the playlist is given in the description area. So without any further delay, let us start with our today's session. We will be solving question number eight. It contains five marks. And the question says, use Lapidus rule to find limit extending to zero arc 10 of 2x over 10 of 3x. We have to take the limit, but why did they ask for the uh, using the Lapidus rule? They have asked to use uh, us to use the Lapidus rule, so we don't have any other choice. But could we avoid using the Lapidus rule? Let us check. What is R10 of 2x when x tends to 0? Limit x tends to 0. R10 of 2x is equal to 0. And limit x tends to 0, 10 of 3x, because r 10 of 2 times 0 is 0. So r, what will be the angle of r tan 0? It will be 0 degrees or 0 radians. And what is 10 of 3 times 0? That is three, uh, 10 of 0. It is again 0. So, so it is a 0 by 0 case. Therefore, we have to use the Lapidus rule. Okay. Therefore, using limit extends to zero. Arc 10 of 2x over 10 of 3x, 10 3x should be equal to limit extends to 0. The derivative of the numerator dx of arc tan x, not tan x, but tan 2, arc tan 2x over the derivative of the denominator. That is what the Lapidus rule says. So ddx of tan of 3x or tan 3x. Let us get the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So this is limit x tends to 0. R10 of 2x. Okay, let me just write it over here. What is the derivative of if I write y equals R10 of x? So what is dy by dx? dy by dx is 1 over 1 plus x square. Okay. So now in place of x, we are having 2x. So the derivative will be 1 over 1 plus x whole square. And we cannot stop over here. We have to differentiate this argument, this 2x also. So the derivative of 2x is 2. Or 2 over 1 I am writing just to avoid confusion. So this is the, this is the numerator in fact. And this will be the denominator. Okay, now I can put the bracket. 
This is the numerator. And now we will be differentiating the denominator. Plan of x when differentiated gives us secant squared x. So I'll be writing exactly the same thing. But we have 3x also. So first of all, let us differentiate tan 3x. It is secant squared 3x. And then we have to differentiate 3x, which will be giving us 3. So the denominator is 3 times secant squared 3x. Okay. And now we will be putting the value of 0 in place of x. And we will be seeing whether we again get the same condition 0 by 0 case. Okay. So this should be equal to 1 over, or let me write 2 over because that should be getting multiplied by 2, so it is 2 over 1 plus x whole square is 4x square, so it is 4 times x square, 0 square is 0. And the denominator is 3 times secant squared of times c which is let us see uh, secant square three times zero is zero and secant square zero will be equal to one over cos square zero and what is cos zero cos zero is equal to one 1 square is 1, therefore this should be 1 over 1 square, which is equal to 1. Okay? So this is equal to, we have got the denominator as 1, definitely, because 3 times 1 will be 3. Not uh, 1, rather 3 times 1 will be 3. So the denominator is not equal to 0. Therefore, we will not be getting a 0 by 0 case. So this is the denominator that we have already found will be equal to 3 times 1. What about the numerator? 4 times 0 is 0. 2 over 1 is 2. So this is equal to 4 over 3. So we have got the limit value. We don't have to differentiate again. Therefore, this is the this is the question arc tan of tan arc tan 2x over tan 3x. Let me write the question again. Limit x tends to 0 arc tan of 2x over tan 3x. equal to 2 over 3. Let me show you the question once more. Arc 10 of 2x is the numerator and 10 3x is the denominator. See, the question arc 10 of 2x is the numerator and 10 3x is the denominator. I have written exactly the same thing, arc 10 of 2x, arc 10 2x is in the numerator, tan 3x is in the denominator. So this is our answer. Okay. So we have solved question number eight completely. And if you are wondering who am I, I am Nilanjana Saniyar. I tutor uh, IB Math A, HL and SL students online. And to be more specific, I tutor students, the kids of Indian parents and the NRI parents. Even though why I am saying to be more specific, because I have students all over the world, but I, I don't tutor foreigners. That's not their fault, of course, but I, I, I usually tutor students of kids of NRI parents or Indian parents. And now I have decided to conduct online group math tutoring sessions. 
for IB Math A, SL and HS students. If you are interested in case you have given the IGCAC board examination and you are preparing to for the IB Math uh, sessions, the IB Math course, if you are interested in the group online sessions, please do contact me. You are seeing my number. You are seeing my email address. Please do text me or mail me. You may contact me to know the further proceedings, to know the details. Okay. And thank you for staying with me till the end. We'll be meeting tomorrow with question number nine. And till then, bye.